Hi, Hi guys. guys! What's going on? Welcome back to another video. What's so funny? That was the cringiest entry ever. <laughs> Why? Hey! <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Actually, welcome back to our kitchen because yes. we're doing a cooking video today and it's an exciting one. If you guys don't follow us on Instagram, then you guys do not know that Daoud Haruf is the master chef, right? No, you know. Whoever follows us knows that. Uh, so today's video, we are going to do uh, some recipes that we cook at my restaurant. A touche salad with chicken on top. And I'm gonna include a tomato cauliflower dish. That's my favorite appetizer dish. She loves it, everybody loves it. Anybody that comes to my restaurant, I recommend this dish. So yeah, those are the two dishes I wanna show to you guys today. But wait, I have an apron for you because you always claim to be the master chef. Yes, this is the master chef So master now chef you apron. get the master chef apron. First things first, you gotta turn on the stove. It's not on yet. Um, just so I could get this pot to be warm before I put the butter in. All right, you guys ready, you little planktons? You guys can all steal my recipe. Now it's warm. I'm gonna put the butter in. Let's put the chicken. So this is two uh, pieces of chicken breast. So now you just let it do its thing. Let it sit for a bit and let it cook. And we'll be back to put the spices on and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so while the chicken is cooking, um, we are going to go ahead and show you how we prep the salad. So we're going to start off with some iceberg lettuce. So this is a serving for two people. So I just cut up maybe half of an iceberg lettuce because there's going to be a lot of other veggies in the salad. Mm -hmm. so we're going to put it in there. And, with, and essentially the iceberg lettuce will not let the salad be soggy. It'll give it a nice crisp taste to it. So iceberg lettuce is very important. Very important. Some people use just romaine lettuce, but I feel like the romaine lettuce will just taste yeah, will just taste very wet. Mm. Right? So the best thing to do is to have some iceberg lettuce and we also mix a little bit of romaine, romaine lettuce just to give it a color and uh, some uh, vitamins because apparently iceberg lettuce does not have any vitamins in it. Just, really? Just, just water? Just water. Just water. So, We'll make it nice and healthy. We'll include the romaine lettuce. Not too much, just a little bit. After that, we gotta include some tomato. Jasmine loves tomatoes. I love tomatoes. Should I put all these tomatoes? Okay. <laughs> so all these tomatoes, nice. It's not even a lot, guys. It's like literally one small tomato. <laughs> I know how much you love tomatoes. He always says, oh my gosh, there's so much tomatoes. Yeah. And it's like literally like one tomato so, in like a huge bucket of lettuce. <laughs> We add some radish, that's two radishes. You want all these radishes or not? I'm not a fan of radishes, but... Yeah, what I'm trying to show you guys is how we do it at the restaurant. You don't have to put these ingredients. You, you, maybe some people dislike radishes, but you're eating radishes today. You want some cucumber? Yeah, we actually got this cucumber from my dad's garden, so it's Thank organic. Thank you, Baba Pérez. Thank you, Baba. <laughs> some nice cucumbers and... I know you hate peppers, but no. we're doing this for the sake of the video. I hate green pepper. Green pepper. We'll just put a little bit. That's not a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Some red pepper. We have some purple cabbage. So purple cabbage, or you could do white cabbage, but purple cabbage will give it... Actually, it's the same thing. You could do white or purple cabbage. Purple gives it a nice color. It gives it a nice color, and also it gives a nice crisp flavor into the salad. So mm. we add some... some Purple cabbage, some cauliflower. Fatouche isn't a fatouche without cauliflower. I don't know if that's authentic or not, but that's just how we make it and people love it. You so, cut the cauliflower really, really small. Yeah, though. like this is the size of it. Hopefully, camera focuses in. All right, some parsley. Let's try to do this. Oh. <laughs> Wow, you just got all over the camera. Salty does it that way too, so. Whoever doesn't like onions, I do not understand how you guys are living. That onions and salad. Like she didn't like onions, but now she's slowly, slowly. Yeah, I don't now, mind them though. Now slowly but surely she likes them. So mm. I'm gonna put them all. This is a lot of onions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is the the bowl. Look how pretty it is. Now we have this all in a bowl. All the ingredients we're showing you guys. We're not gonna mix it quite yet because the salad will get soggy and the chicken's being cooked. So we're gonna transition back to the chicken. All right. So this is pretty much cooked. Um, I've had it on medium heat the whole time. I just now want to add the spices to it. So I'm going to turn down the heat a little bit. So I'm putting some salt. Jasmine loves salt, so some more salt. <laughs> Two cloves of garlic. 
We're gonna oh. crush them though. Yeah, we're crushing them. Use those muscles. All right, you stir it up. All right, now we wanna give some paprika. Again, no measurements. This paprika will give it a nice, nice flavor. Oh, by the way, I don't think I told you guys, this is shish tawuk. <laughs> oh yeah, we never mentioned that. Yeah. This is called shish tawuk. But it's a very different shish It's a very different type of shish, shish tawuk. Shish tawuk is usually cooked in the barbecue, but in our restaurant, we do both. We do it in, in on the barbecue. And for like sandwiches or salads or any of that kind of stuff, we make it this way. So let's mix this. So a little bit of cayenne pepper to give it a little bit of a spice. So I want to say that's like half a teaspoon there. So now we're going to add some tomato paste. Um, we'll go one tablespoon. One plop. One plop. We're adding tandoori to the mix. The tandoori will give it a nice beautiful color. Uh, you don't want to add too much of it because it does get overwhelming in flavor. Mix, watch it, watch it change in color. Since we like our chicken juicy, we're definitely gonna add some water to the mix. I'm gonna add now some black pepper. Black pepper will give it a nice spice taste to it and it gives it a nice flavor. Not too much though. I wanna say that's half, half a tablespoon according to my eyeballs. All right, and we're gonna add some lemon. Not too much, you don't want the lemon to be overwhelming. So just a nice couple of squeezes. And just mix it up. That's pretty much the ingredients. We could definitely make this more juicy. So we wanna add some wattis, water. <laughs> <laughs> All right, some more, maybe some more tomato paste. And since we're making this more salt, saucy, we're gonna add more salt. Mm. I know. This is exactly how Dawood makes it for me at his restaurant. Yeah. I always ask for extra sauce. And yeah. this is, and how, this it is how I make it. So now we're gonna let this chicken cook a little bit. Um, we're gonna go uh, show you guys how to make the tomato cauliflower dish. So I have my oil on, it's on medium heat right now. I don't want to splatter everywhere. And yeah, I'm just gonna dump it in. It's gonna blow up. Oh! <laughs> I saw that coming. What do I do? <laughs> when you're not really a chef. <laughs> I didn't know it was that high. <laughs> oh, it's cooking fast. Okay, put them all together. Oh my gosh, it's burnt. Okay. okay we're gonna have to don't work. do that, guys. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, let it, let it warm. This guy doesn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I do this at the restaurant, not here. Yeah, because your dad sets up the heat for you. <laughs> okay, so we let the oil cool down a bit and we tried out one and it seems to be cooking well. So quickly put those in so that they all cook the same. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Did that hit you in the oh, eyeball? Why? Yeah. That's not right. There you go, using your brains. I like that. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. No, it's too hot. No, it's too hot, it's too hot. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, it's too hot. Okay, so this is our third attempt at not trying to burn down our house. Um, we've been trying to perfect the temperature of the oil because every time we try to put it in there, it basically yeah. burns it and doesn't cook it through, which I don't know why, but... No, I left, on, I left the oil on for a long time. I had it on low heat. Yeah, like so he's, he's had it on the stove for like an hour, so the oil's probably already like burnt. Wish me luck. So we're trying again. Yay. Oh. So now it's not cooking? No, it is, it is. Hopefully when you guys do this, you'll do a better job. <laughs> we 
Okay, so while the cauliflower is cooking, don't mind those brown ones because those are the ones that we burnt that we're trying to recover. Um, we are going to do the tomato sauce for the cauliflower. Guys, the cauliflower is good without the sauce, but it's bomb with the sauce. Bomb! <laughs> bomb with the sauce. Guys, you can also eat this cauliflower like literally with just some salt and then with like with, pita bread. You could do it with the tahini sauce. Yeah, on top. Tahini, tahini sauce is really good. Tahini sauce but this is, really is the good. most popular recipe with the tomato sauce. So with we'll, the tomato sauce, we'll keep it that way. <laughs> We're gonna start off with some butter. We're gonna add two cloves of garlic, some tomato paste. Now it depends how thick you want the tomato paste, but I added three, half a cup of water. So how much tomato paste you put depends on how thick you want your sauce to be. So if you want it to be very watery, you can put a bit of tomato paste, more water. But if you want it to be nice, thick, and juicy, like we like it, you put a lot of tomato paste and then you add a bit of water mm -hmm. just so that it's like a thicker consistency. Like right now it's a little too watery. So we add more. Yeah. Tomato paste. All right, we want to put salt, black pepper, some more black pepper, and some more black pepper. <laughs> we have something called seven spices. Us Arabs love to put seven spices on everything. So we'll add the seven spices. That's about one tablespoon. <laughs> More like three. <laughs> no, what are you saying? <laughs> we gotta add some oregano. Dried oregano. Dried oregano for some nice flavor. So right now we feel like there's not enough sauce, so we're adding some more tomato paste and some more water. And that's all you really have to do to get it to increase. You can add a bit more flavor with the spices again, but that's pretty much it. And we're gonna add a nice pinch of parsley. Actually like three pinches. <laughs> just to give it some some color and also just gotta add a little squeeze of lemon to give it a little bit of a zest all right we have to taste this let's do this okay guys so i'm gonna test this out and see if it's actually like the restaurant because i'm a true fan of the restaurant and i know how everything tastes so oh don't Yo, put yeah it actually tastes like the restaurant <laughs> Yo, you got it on point. Thank you. Why are you putting the spoon back in the freaking pot? You're supposed to use your own spoon. And now no one can taste... <laughs> now no one can eat with us. <laughs> okay, guys. So, now it is time to dress the salad. We're gonna start off by adding some oil. In the restaurant, they do um, vegetable oil and olive oil. So, I'm gonna do a bit of both. You can kind of eyeball this as much as you would want it to be oily. So now that we have both in there, we can move on to the oregano. Oregano is really important. It's one of the things that is not very common in fetush, but usually people put dried mint in fetush, but at their restaurant they put dried oregano. Naughty, naughty. Okay. Next, one of my favorites is cement. It's a must. Cement is a must, guys. It gives it that like nice kick of sour, fatouche, intense, citrusy and flavor. It's so. hard. It's a hard spice to find. There's a lot of people that sell it really like fake. It's like a bootleg version, yeah, but we got the authentic the one. The authentic one. And then we're gonna add some salt. Salty salt. salt. We're also going to do some pomegranate molasses. We love this. They don't do it at the restaurant, so you don't have to include it, but we just love the flavor of it in Fatouche, so... Not too much of it, though. It's, it's an overwhelming I taste. I always put too much. Next, we're gonna add some lemon juice. I squeezed one whole lemon, that should be enough. So I mix the salad very uh, civilly. I like to give it its time. 
like to kind of give it its moment, like to do it all clean and nice. So Jasmine. This. It's such a small bowl. The wood on my outfit! <laughs> okay, so now that Dode aggressively tossed the salad, because there's really no other way you can toss it other than super aggressively, like they do at the restaurant. You guys just gotta use a bigger bowl. Nothing will follow if there was a bigger bowl. Yeah, so now that we have it all mixed, this is what it's gonna look like. She don't see us? Okay, so we like to top off the salad with feta cheese and some... Fried pita bread. So essentially what we do is we take a one pita bread. What are they called? A loaf? No, not a loaf. Hobze. 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 <laughs> one pita bread. Uh, we, ch we cut it up into squares, anything like this, and you just deep fry it the same way that we deep fried the cauliflower. And once they are golden brown, you take them out, drain them on a tissue, and you let them sit aside, and then you just sprinkle it on top of the salad with some feta and... There, it is. There's healthier options. You could yeah. bake. You could bake it. Yeah, you could definitely bake this. You could bake it. It'll be really good too. Or you could do it without the pita chips. It still will be considered patouche. It's just not a patouche without pita chips. It just adds a bit of crunch. And a it's bit of really, texture. it's really good. You guys will see. If you guys try this recipe, please send us like an Instagram photo. Yeah. Uh, something to our DM. Something. Comment something. Let us know that you guys try this photo. So this motivates us to do more recipes, more cooking. You guys also uh, sent us a lot of your um, remakes of our What I Love recipe, yeah, and I got to see us. all of them. So they looked so delicious. So we're super happy that you guys like that recipe as well. All right. So once you get this color for the cauliflower, you could take it out of the deep fryer and let it drain for a bit for the tissue, so the oil comes out, and then you could add the sauce in like. 30 seconds after. Okay, so we're starting to plate the cauliflower. We have it on a plate with some sauteed tomatoes. We put some sumac on those tomatoes and we sauteed them. And then the cauliflower is underneath and then we're gonna add the tomato dressing right on top. Let's do this. This is the best part. Oh. Woo wee! Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Look how beautiful this dish is. We forgot something. What? <laughs> Woo! There we go. Now it's pretty. So Jasmine's gonna plate the salad now. Look at all that color. Okay, next we're gonna add some pita chips on top. Boop. I'm just gonna crumble the feta on top. All right, now we're gonna add the chicken on top. Nice and saucy. That looks so good. Yeah, so if you guys were ever wondering what I eat at Dode's restaurant like every single day, it's this. Okay guys, so that's the end of today's video. We hope you found this recipe helpful and we hope you guys try it at home and see how delicious it is. It's so good guys, We honestly. are so excited to eat. Yeah. We are so hungry. Um, but before we let you guys go, we'd love if you could subscribe down below and put that bell notification on. And we also have an Instagram where we're a lot more active there. So make sure you follow the both of us. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today. Let's go eat. We love you guys and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye. Bye. Oh <laughs>